Hi, my name is Jason, and today I'm going to be showing you my homemade audio reflection filter, or the Frugal Curve. Welcome to Artificial Human Intelligence. Let's get started. Now, you may be asking, what exactly is a reflection filter, or an audio curve? It's a device that helps you boost the clarity of the audio that you're trying to record. How does it do this? It absorbs the sound that you make with your voice or whatever you're trying to capture. As you talk into it, into the microphone, if you don't have this here, your voice is going to be reflected off of the walls and then back a few, maybe milliseconds later, into the microphone. And you'll be able to hear a distinct echo in the audio. Full disclosure, in order to get the best audio quality, you're gonna have to go down to a professional studio or build one. But I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video, like me, you don't have $10,000 or $5,000 or even $1,000 to coat one room in your house with audio foam, which is why I made this and I'm sharing it with you. Also know that there are many, many other things that you can do to boost the quality of your audio. I've uh, read many articles online where you can put a blanket or duvet up behind you, which I might do later. You know, you can use a moving blanket even, or you can step into, if you have a full-size walk-in closet, I've seen that suggestion as well. But we're going to test this out and see how well we can get the audio to be. I'm going to plug in my condenser microphone. It's a BM800 from Excelvan. So I've now plugged in and am recording off of my BM800 by Excelvan condenser microphone. I don't have the audio curve on it right now, and you might be able to hear that very slight echo that's coming from around the room. The floor is carpeted, but there's not really anything else that is. There's a curtain over there maybe, but that's about it. So you, you should be able to hear it. I'm going to add the audio curve now. Okay, I've now added the audio curve, and you should be able to hear the difference that it makes in terms of getting that audio clarity. The reflections from around the room should be very, very minimal right now. Uh, now, like I said before, I can put up a blanket or something sitting behind me, and that will further boost the quality of it or the isolation of just getting my voice. So at this point, you might be wondering, what are the limits to this type of setup here? Well, let's find out. I am now sitting in the bathroom of my house. Inside this room, there's nothing to keep my voice from reflecting off the walls and back into the mic a few seconds later, or milliseconds later. I'm going to read a quote for you so that you can clearly hear what it sounds like, and then I'll read it again with the audio curve. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. I now have the audio curve, and we'll repeat the quote. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. I think this test pretty much shows what the limits of this thing are. We're going to go back into the other room now. So now that you've seen what it can do, you might be asking, where can you use it? Personally, I'm, I built it so that I could isolate my uh, audio for podcasting and voiceovers and video, but you might find another use for it. And if you do, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So, comment. So that's the end of the review for this. I also built another audio device called the Maiden. Uh, it has a lot of critics, but I'll post a link to the video here. And if you want to see how this was built, I'll post a link to that video here. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you want to see more interesting things, and really, who doesn't, please subscribe to this channel because we're going to have more things coming down the pipeline. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.